All right, today's recipe is a vegan dish, which is dandelion appetizer and side dish. This is the dandelion that I found in the market, the Middle East uh, goods markets. So this is the plant. This is farmed one usually in Syria. We used to uh, cook the wild one mostly, but here I found this one, which is kind of farmed. And we use the leaves. This is the leaf of the plant and all parts are edible. So this is the bunches, as you can see, super clean and nice. We cook the whole thing. This is the leaf from the upper part, which is very tender and soft. And the stem, which is a little bit like uh, rich in fibers, kind of... Uh, hard but we can cook it and it will be done we can just boil it and uh, or steam it so first of all i have to wash these with water and uh, vinegar and this is very important and essential for me to wash everything and now to let it dry over a towel or a paper uh, kitchen towels then i'm gonna chop these bunches the whole thing but first i want to remove the bottom part because uh, it might be dry or like uh, black in color so i'm just cutting around one centimeter or to one inch that's fine then i'm gonna chop the whole dandelion bunch this is really sharp so i have to be careful not to have my finger cut and also i'm using the knife in this way uh, if you can notice the the grip of my hand it should be like that otherwise i will suffer uh, of a pain in the rest of my hand so this is the right way so now i'm gonna boil on high heat first then i'm gonna reduce after boiling to medium high you can also if you have a steamer or something like this you can use it I think it's healthier to steam this veggies. So I'm pressing because it's and stirring because it kind of floats on the water. So this is after 25 minutes, it's ready. I just cool very quickly not to continue in cooking. So for now, I'm gonna reduce the moisture around 90% of the water I'm gonna remove it by pressing very hard on this uh, veggies I'm keeping uh, a little bit of water inside because I want to return it uh, on the heat so I will need for this amount around five uh, medium sized onions a lot of onions i know but it's delicious with it and also a lot of olive oil half cup of olive oil don't say this is a lot because without the olive oil the dish is missing a very good uh, thing so on about i'm gonna add the onions to the olive oil and the olive oil here is uh, of a very good quality it's not the cooking one it's actually it's the extra virgin olive oil this is the color that i'm happy with the golden brown now i'm gonna toss the veggies the dandelion on top i'm gonna stir to just to fry a little bit the dandelion with the onions and the olive oil so now you can add any kind of spices, seasoning, I have salt, black pepper, cumin, coriander, Aleppo pepper and paprika. You can add thyme, you can add sage, you can add rosemary, the pizza seasoning, Italian seasoning, anything you wish to add, any flavor, the chili flakes, also delicious, some hot sauce and at last after i switch off the heat i just added uh, the juice of one lemon and now extra tip for you to get the garnish onions very crispy not like 
tender and oily I'm gonna just dust the uh, one big uh, onion julienne cut with all pur purpose flour like this so I'm coating the onions with the flour to absorb all the moisture out of it so it will stay crunchy after frying in oil then I'm gonna sift it very well to just get rid of the excessive flour because I don't want it to be dropped on the uh, oil after that and now to a uh, vegetable oil or corn oil you can use the olive oil as well I'm gonna fry I had no time so I just put the whole amount but the rule of thumb here is the less you put on the oil or inside the oil the more crispy and crunchy the onion will be so you can just put um, like two tablespoons at a time so this is the result very crispy and crunchy golden brown onions for garnish I just put over the towel to get rid of the oil this is my plate ready for garnish with some extra lemon juice if you wish with extra olive oil it's a very good for diet if you reduce the amount of the olive oil so this is dandelion traditional plates so guys if you like this video give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to receive all the notifications thank you for watching see you next time bye bye